Greetings all. Welcome to Aquarian Diary. I'm your host, John Irving. It is February 19th, 2023. There are so many topics that I want to talk about. And so I just go with whatever is at the forefront of my mind. And this one has been near there for a while now. I want to talk briefly about the moon or lunar transits. Now, this will not be a lesson about the moon. It's more about the significance or not of particular lunar events, also known as lunation cycles. How often do you go through radical changes or life events that profoundly alter your experience? I would suggest, if we're being honest, that we don't fundamentally change all that often. In my subscription feed, I see tons of videos about new moons and full moons, and often I hear people describe those in terms that are rather extraordinary. The reality is that we have new moons and full moons every 28 or 29 days. That is more than once a month on average. And as I asked you to consider, we do not have radical or fundamental or dramatic changes in our experience every month. Now, the moon's placement in your astrology chart is extremely important. It is one of the most important points in the chart, in fact. The sign, the house, and aspects to it are all very important. And when we have significant transits to our moon, they can manifest in very potent ways. Solar and lunar eclipses occur much less frequently and can also be very significant if they are in close proximity or orb to a significant point in our natal chart. There can be a few, or up to five or six, or even seven, occasionally, eclipses a year. And even eclipses can vary in intensity according to how full or complete they are, their path over the surface of the Earth, and whether or not they are aspecting other planets on a mundane level or in our charts. Likewise, new moons and full moons can be relatively significant if they occur in strong aspect to some significant point in our natal chart. But that doesn't tend to occur all that often. I, for example, once had a full moon right on my sun, exact within less than a half a degree. I knew this was coming up. I positioned myself accordingly. I attended a social event, and I met somebody who I have spent many past incarnations with. She and I ended up being a couple for several years, but that's another story. It was a full moon meeting, after all. New moons on the other hand, are new beginnings. But most new moons and full moons are not intensely active in our charts. And the point I'm trying to make here today is simply that it's a bit misleading for people to suggest that these lunar events that occur every few weeks are profoundly significant. And I would like people to consider that. Don't get me wrong. I adore the moon. Often, I can actually feel it shifting houses, especially when it transits the twelfth house, which is kind of a time for laying low and resting. There's a danger in exaggerating astrological events, because over time, people will just start tuning out. I think it's important that we keep things in perspective and that we don't set unrealistic expectations for people. So just bear that in mind. You have to be able to access your natal chart and look at transits to determine whether or not a lunar event is tightly aspected in your chart, and that requires some degree of knowledge. But just be aware that astrological events that occur with such frequency are not going to be life-changing, typically. We tend to have the most dramatic events astrologically 
via the outer, slower-moving planets, whose orbits, rather, do not occur in days, but years and decades, if not centuries. I just wanted to clarify that for people because it kind of irks me a little bit. Because some of the coverage of lunar transits is a bit hyperbolic. I'll leave it there. Some people have emailed me, and I want to let them know that I have responded. If you do not receive it, check your spam folder or comment on YouTube, and we'll sort it out. You can find my email address under the About tab on YouTube or via the contact form on my website. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Take care, all the best, and I'll talk to you again soon.